Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Sue Rakofsky, and with me is Cynthia Cutright. Cynthia is the Special Projects Manager with the City of Port Huron. Welcome, Cynthia. Thanks for having me, Sue. And it's been a while since we've been <laughs> back in studio. Thank goodness we're back. Um, you have a new social district coming up. Tell me about that we, in Port Huron. We sure do. Yes, this is actually Port Huron's second social district, which is pretty cool. Uh, the first one was implemented in 2020, um, just kind of out of the pandemic uh, in downtown Port Huron. It's been such a success that um, the city manager came to me and said, why don't we create a second one on the boardwalk uh, outside of the Double Tree and Freighters in the convention center? And we just hit the ground running with that. So, so for those of us who, or for those who may not understand what a social district is, can you explain that? Sure. Yeah, the social district uh, really did come out of the pandemic. Um, we were seeing that restaurants were still getting slow to get business. You know, everything was restricted for a while. So, Michigan Legislature passed a law that allowed businesses with a liquor license to be able to sell their cocktails to go. So you could take your drink and hit right on the street. Um, and so we did that in downtown Port Huron, you know, pretty much immediately. We were one of the first five cities in the state of Michigan to get our social district. So you can ask for your drink in a social district cup and walk straight out the door, uh, enjoy downtown, and now you'll be able to enjoy the boardwalk as well. Okay, well, let's let's back up for a second. What businesses are participating in downtown, first of all? Uh, there are seven currently, okay. um, with two more coming on board. So you've, you've got Casey's, Lynch's, Wings, Raven, uh, City Flats. I'll, I'll forget a few. I'm yeah. sorry, there's so many. There is, but that's you, great. You can check out Port, port um, sorry, downtownph.com, and that information's on there. So the social district that's going to the boardwalk, um, you're sort of in the onboarding process for getting the restaurants on board at this point, correct? That's correct, yeah. We just got approval from MLCC that they were good with our district layout. So now it's uh, time to bring those businesses on board, let them know what it's about a little bit, um, and then get them through MLCC as well. So Cynthia, we're gonna take a quick break and we're gonna talk about another exciting thing happening in Port Huron. So stay tuned, we'll be right back on Spotlight. Let North Star Bank, one of the most responsive, relationship-based banks in our community, partner with you to meet your financial needs. We have locations all across Michigan, so stop in and visit us today. North Star Bank, guiding the way. Member FDIC. Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm continuing my discussion with Cynthia, and we talked about the social district, but there's another new thing happening in Port Huron. Tell me about it. Yep, so we just got um, our first wiffle ball field here in Port Huron, okay. which is actually pretty cool because it's the first publicly available wiffle ball field. All the others are private. You have to be part of a league to use the wiffle ball field. This is open for free play. So if you've got a bat and a ball, grab some friends and come up, check out the wiffle ball field. It's at 16th Park, which is near 16th and Dove. Okay, so what is wiffle ball? Refresh my memory on that. It's basically baseball okay. on a much smaller scale, slightly different ball, slightly different bat, but same sort of concept. Okay. Uh, we're hoping to start some leagues in spring, so uh, be sure to check out our city rec site because um, th that information will be forthcoming. Uh, so yeah, you can sign up with some friends and play wiffle ball uh, each evening. So. Okay, so you just kind of show up and, or no, you sign up. You, you can sign up for the okay. leagues, but what's great is right now it's free play. So okay. if you've got friends of that and a ball, you know, you can just go play at any time. And okay. it's part of a greater um, expansion of that park that we're going to be implementing here in the next year or two. Okay. Um, that we're just allowing kids to come and play at fun. their availability. Yes. What other fun things do we have coming up this winter? Oh, wow. We've got a lot. So, okay. of course, McMoran Plaza is, you know, we saw a great summer. Mm -hmm. We're going to see a great winter there. Um, we are still planning to have our ice rink out front, okay. um, which will provide a lot of great opportunity for people to just enjoy the winter in downtown Port Huron amongst the, the strong lights above downtown, which is always great. Um, if you've driven by Gratiot Park, you will also see a brand new playscape there. Uh, that playscape should be ready to play it probably within the next week or two. And then next year, the splash pad and pavilion will be up as well. And then, yeah, we've just got a few more parks that uh, our Parks and Rec Director is ready to hit and ready to tackle. So we'll be working on that too. You're certainly staying very, very busy. Yeah, if anyone thinks there's not a lot going on in Port Huron, there's plenty going on. We have a lot of great things coming up. Where's the best place to find out more information about events or the social district or the wiffle ball park or anything happening? Sure. You can always check out porthuron.org. That's the city website and there's links on there to both the recreation site, the downtown site, or um, the recreation or downtown Facebook pages have a wealth of information as well. Okay, well very good. Well thank you so much for joining us. There's always stuff going on in Port Huron. Always is. Thanks, All right. Sue. And thank you for watching this edition of Spotlight.